inspired you to build this light sphere? We wanted to have a way of digitizing people's faces to turn a real person into a digital person that would be just as realistic as the real thing. And what would be the need to do something like that? Well, we have more and more digital entertainment and simulations these days that need to depict everything you can see in the real world. Environments, objects, vehicles, and people. We've all seen digital people in video games, like from you know early Lara Croft that looked like a bunch of pixels and polygons. Uh, at some point, we're gonna need them to look like real people, and we wanted to build a device that would make it possible to translate that into the digital world as realistically as possible. Coming in here, you know, with the cameras that are set up, all the lights that are set up, what, what's the process to capture my face? Well, the most standard thing that we do with this device right now is get high-resolution, digitized versions of, uh, of, of, of actors. And so what we typically do is we have somebody come on in here, like we are, mm -hmm. uh, sit on the seat, we'll adjust the headrest so you can keep your head still, and then we're going to light you with 20 different lighting patterns in about two seconds, so you'll hear some cameras clicking. And that'll give us all of the information that we need to process to generate uh, a three-dimensional scan of your face ear to ear, uh, and get all of the texture maps and reflectance maps and everything that we need to render you uh, under any kind of illumination afterwards. So you mentioned that there have been many kind of incarnations of this light sphere. This is the most recent one, obviously. How long has this one been in practice? We call this one Light Stage X because we're basically up to number 10. Oh, wow. This one has been used for just about over a year at this point. The very first light stage that we had was nothing more than a 250 watt uh, spotlight that was on the end of some plastic tubing uh, and a bunch of 4x4 lumber that we got at Home Depot and we had to pull it on ropes to get it to go to all of the different directions. We didn't have enough money when I was a, a postdoc at Berkeley mm -hmm. uh, to buy all these lights. People hadn't even invented bright white LEDs at the time so we had to do it with this you know this light bulb basically. It took 60 seconds to capture somebody so we couldn't get particularly natural facial expressions. It was really hard to get eyes open expressions because you'd have this like 250 watt light in your eyes. Oh, it's hard enough when it takes two seconds. <laughs> I can't imagine sitting there for 60 seconds without blinking. Exactly. Nowadays, we're so happy to have these great white LEDs, so computer controllable, they will turn on and turn off in a millionth of a second. And we have complete control of the light from the entire sphere at the same time. It's amazing. So where do you see this going? I mean, what is the what does the future hold for this kind of technology? We're going to see more and more of lead actors being used um, using this kind of technology. Um, at this point, if we can get somebody in 30 different facial expressions, we can actually rig up a digital face that can act with a lot of the subtlety of the original performance. We don't know how to have a computer create acting performances yet. We're going to have to get better on our artificial intelligence mm -hmm. for that. That's a long ways off, I think. But we're getting to the point where these, essentially these digital puppets of people that you can drive with real actors' performances uh, are going to look totally photoreal, even in close-up, and relevant to the video game industry, even in real time. That's a little bit. And here we go. It's crazy. Let's take a look at you. So. This is actually you in 3D. Oh and my god. We can change the lighting around. Now eyes and teeth are not going to be perfect. What we do for a normal mm -hmm. true treatment is we'd actually model your eyes. These are just the eyes that we get from the geometry of the scan. But I mean they look pretty damn good. This is nuts. You can see like just all the coloring and the freckles and oh god. <laughs> so here we can do, I actually turned the shine of your skin way way down but you sure. can kind of see in here yeah. this is sort of the level of detail No, that this we is get. me. This is, I mean it looks like a photo. 
a 3D photo, but it's not. This is a completely digital it is recreation. Indeed.